Welcome back to Bad Hair Day, to our second segment. This is a really awkward intro, but Brianna, go ahead. I kind of like threw her off guard because she didn't know that she was supposed to introduce this segment. But anyway, in this segment, we're going to talk about Selena Gomez and Twilight. So first off with Selena, um, she has recently revealed and confirmed that she is suffering from lupus. And for those of you who may not know, lupus is actually a chronic autoimmune disease that affects organs and the tissues inside the body. I didn't know that, so I had to look it up, so don't feel bad. Mm -hmm. And um, she also stated that she was diagnosed with lupus, and she has actually already been through chemotherapy. She also explained that this is actually the true reason behind why she took some time off during her last tour in January of 2014. So basically, during her last tour in January, um, when she took time off, a lot of people were saying, oh, it's because of Justin Bieber, you still love him, you're probably trying to get back together with him, maybe you guys just broke up again. Like, there were just a lot of rumors. It, it all centered around her and Justin. And I feel like with her new album, since she's trying to, like, make a new name for herself, she probably just wanted to not come clean, but let her fans and let everyone know what really happened. Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely feel bad that she had to come out and explain why she was absent for that long because the media was really horrible to her. They kept, um, you know portraying her as this like pathetic person and you know whose time revolved around Justin Bieber I feel like that's what the media made it seem and when in truth she was going to through something really tough in her life and she really didn't need the media just kind of attacking her Mm -hmm. during that time and I think it was really unfair also um I was going to say our last episode but honestly because we didn't really have a last episode because um our I don't know our tech stuff was having issues last week um she said, and we actually mentioned that she was talking about how after her breakup with Justin, remember, she felt, like, violated and threatened, mm-hmm. and she felt like the media wasn't really allowing her to mourn the loss, really, of this relationship with mm-hmm. this person that she was so madly and deeply in love with. Yeah. So I feel like she really just should have come out, and I fe- I'm kind of happy that she did. Mm-hmm. I know... Um. In the article that I was reading in one of them, she was out also talking about the fact that um, she didn't want other people to be ashamed, and that's one of the reasons why she did it. Yeah. Anyway, moving on to Twilight. Um, Stephanie Meyer has released a gender swap Twilight, and it's called Life and Death. The book is centered on the story of Bo and Edith, uh, rather than Bella and Edward, in order to re- reimagine gender roles. Um, but fans aren't all happy. Uh, for those of you who don't know, <laughs> a rough draft of Midnight Sun, which was a retelling of Twilight from Edward's point of view, was leaked a few years ago. And fans are now stating that they would have preferred to see a full-length version of this story instead. Uh, but according to an interview that she, uh, that Meyer did with Good Morning America, she said that she was inspired by the negative criticism of Bella's character throughout the Twilight series. So, I'm gonna be honest. When Twilight first became a thing, I guess you could say, like when it first started to get really popular and people mm-hmm. first started to talk about the movies, I hated it and I didn't want anything to do with it. And I was like, no, it looks boring. It looks stupid. I don't want to read it. I don't want to watch it. Blah blah blah. And then I got the first book and I fell in love with it. Yeah. As much as we all love to make fun of it now, we all went through a period that we were in love with Twilight, so don't yeah. deny it. Um, I mean, I definitely loved the books when I read them, yeah. and I still love the books better more than the movies, because I feel like, especially the first movie, where Bella's just awkward and weird, it's worse, it's worse, her personality is so much worse in the movie than in the book. I feel like in the book, she's more, um, kind of more, a little bit more lively, she's kind of a person, and then in the movie, she just kind of seems like... But I think dull. that, like exact criticism is why she made this new book Mm -hmm. because basically she was saying how you know um people were always saying oh why is bella the damsel in distress why does edward always have to save her why can't she do anything for herself and that's why meyer decided to do this because she wanted to prove it had nothing to do with her gender it was just her personality no i never thought about it being her gender though i just kind of thought that she was boring as a person like not because oh she's a girl she can't do anything I didn't really think about it about it that way I just kind of thought she was a boring person mm-hmm. I think it's also because when Twilight started to get I mean if you look at it now from like in terms of books that have become movies kind of mm-hmm. now we have Hunger Games and Divergent and Harry Potter and like mm-hmm. all this other stuff and when Twilight came out it was really just like Twilight and Harry Potter for a really long time yeah So I feel like the issue was that people were comparing 
Bella and Hermione from Harry Potter, who are two completely characters cast and portrayed with completely different personalities, and they're nothing alike. Yeah, it's really unfair for people to compare two characters that are completely different. I mean, it does. It makes no there's, sense. There's yeah. no way to fairly compare those two. Yeah. And I think that that really had a lot to do with the criticism mm-hmm. because they were saying, like, oh, how could you draw, I mean, like, write out a female character to act and be this way and have this personality and be this kind of person because they kept comparing her to someone else that had nothing to do with it. Yeah. Mm, yeah, that was really unfair. Um, I don't know. I'm excited. I want to read this book. This new book. I'm it, really excited for it. It actually already came out. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you can buy it in stores yet, if you can just get it online or what's going on, but I know that it has already come out and you are able to find it and read it if you're really that determined. Yeah. I just... I want to wait a little bit, though. I kind of want to wait to see what mm-hmm. some people say. I mean, if we're being honest, I know I'm going to buy it and I know I'm going to read it anyway. Mm-hmm. I would just like to know what I'm getting myself into, I guess. I would rather, see, I'm the opposite, because I would rather not hear about it and then just kind of read it, because if I hear that even one person says that it sucks, I'm going to not read it. I'm going to read the first chapter and then get bored and just never finish it. Well, you know what's going to happen, because it's literally Twilight with the names changed. Yeah, but I mean, I just, I don't know, because I just, I don't want to hear anything about it. And then just kind of discover things for myself and decide for myself if I like it or not, you know, without knowing if other people like it. I don't know. It's really weird. I know what you mean. I also just think it's a really interesting concept Mm -hmm. because I feel like, I mean, Twilight made a really big impact and inspired Fifty Shades of Grey, (coughs) which we definitely have our own opinions about. So I kind of want to know, like, if this is going to be made into a movie or if this is just a spinoff or... Like, what's going on with it? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or if it's going to be better than Twilight. Oh. I feel like it might be. I read this. This, this reminds me of a book, actually, that I... It's one of my favorite books. Um, I don't remember the title right now, but one of them is... Um, I can't remember. It's by <laughs> the author Julie Kagawa, I think you say it. Um, anyway, it's about this girl who's a vampire. The girl's a vampire, and she meets a human. Mm-hmm. And it's in a completely different world. It's not like the Twilight world. It's like, it doesn't... It's not similar to Twilight in any way except vampires. But, um, again, the guy is, you know, the the guy is a human and he's weaker than, like, the girl who's a vampire and then they meet. And, yeah, but I don't know. So I kind of read a story like that. So I maybe if I, if I do read this book, I'm going to compare it to that. So mm. I just think it's interesting because, um, of course, when I was really into Twilight, I used to like to watch... Um, her interviews and her like talking about her books and that kind of thing Mm -hmm. and she said multiple times that twi she inspired twilight if that makes sense like she inspired her own book Mm -hmm. because she said that while she was in high school she was this geeky dorky clumsy girl that no one really paid attention to Mm -hmm. and she wanted to kind of put like her own fantasy and her own like what she would have wanted yeah so i feel like it's just going to be so weird to read, um, what's the new one? Life and Death. I just yeah. feel like it's a weird title. It is really Because it doesn't match with the series. Because the series is what? It's Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. Mm-hmm. So do you think, so th- the werewolves, are they still going to, going to be the same? Is there going to be like a female version of Jacob? <laughs> I think there has to be. Right? Because I feel like if... You're making a female version of Edward by the name of Edith. You have to make a female version of Jessica. Mm-hmm. But when I was reading the article about it, she did say that she didn't change, like, the parents. Oh, okay. Like, it's not like, what's his name? Bo moved out of his dad's house to go with his mom. Mm-hmm. It's the same setup. It's just, like, the three or two main characters that are actually changed. Oh, okay. I'm interested in this. This is... Really? I've, I've, now I, that we talk about it, I, I'm getting more excited. Yeah, I'm like really mind blown right now. And I want to read it more. <laughs> but I also don't want to like go to Barnes & Noble and they don't have it. And then I end up walking out with $100 in different books anyway. No, I don't think they have it right now because I went recently, a couple, yesterday, two I, days ago. I think I it went. just came out yesterday too. Oh, okay. Then. So I don't think. I don't think they have it yet. 
I don't know. We'll give it a couple weeks, see if we can get it, see if mm-hmm. we can talk about it, if it's yeah. worth talking about. Mm-hmm. So. so we're going to take a break, and when we get back, we're going to be talking about Nicki Minaj, ABC Family, and Amber Rose. <laughs> 